What's up everybody, it's Chris here, weekly NFT videos. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over VV's newest artist program. This is the VV Artworks tab, if you've already noticed it on the VV app. We're gonna be going over exactly what it is, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And if you're watching this, you might say, well, what's bad about this new VV Artworks program? Well, I'll be talking about that later in the video, so make sure to watch till the end. As always, if these type of videos benefit you in any way, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and like the video for the YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's dive right in. So of course, before diving into more specifics, let's take a general overlook of the VB artworks. Uh, here it is in the Medium article that you can find via the VV Twitter. Uh, but basically, it's an introduction to the VV artworks. As you can see, the new tab right here, where it says artworks right next to collectibles, comics, drops, and brands. Uh, so that's where it'd be. These will be one of ones up to one of five. So meaning they can either make one of one piece, which we see coming tomorrow via Ron English, or there will be five different pieces all auctioned off. Who knows exactly which type of artwork they'll have, but the possibilities and the speculation is endless. I'm not going to go in too much to the individual speculation on these, but personally, I think there's some really cool items that we'll be able to see on these one of ones, especially with the partners that VV has. I will say that too, I'll do a little bit of price speculation maybe in this video, uh, but one of the good things I see about these one of ones is with the right items, I can definitely see some of the biggest sales on VV to date. I'm talking sales that could possibly make bigger news outlets, uh, whether that be different crypto and NFT news outlets or maybe even a larger scale, depending on exactly what type of art that they drop on here but i think that ultimately you've watched my videos on talking about vv marketing this could be a form of self-marketing for vv selling significant pieces of value that could be newsworthy i don't want to speculate too much on that but that's one of the bullish parts of this again there are some negative parts that i'll bring up later ultimately though i do think this is really cool and just unique for the platform this kind of just goes into how the bidding is going to work. Uh, I'm not, gonna, again, going to dive into it, but it just talks about you'll have four days to bid. You'll have one active bid. Just kind of, again, summarize this up. You can update, withdraw your bid on these certain time periods. Bids cannot be altered within one hour of the auction expiry. Uh, this is where, this is the only, like, really important part, if you haven't read it yet, is it's going to be a little bit different than a regular auction. Basically, if, I think it's actually down here, um if you do end up winning the auction and the highest bidder does not win it goes on to the second person and if that person doesn't do it it goes on to the next person and it will email all those people uh letting them know that they were the next in line to win that way if people just bid insane amounts then it will just go on to the next and i'm also kind of hoping uh that they kind of do more harsh punishments punishments for fake bids and i did see somewhere in the fine print i'm not sure on this article right now while making this video that some of these auctions actually you'll have to pay just to participate in the auction so i imagine that's going to be for even more significant pieces so let's move on to the first significant piece that they're doing or the first piece that they're doing this is a work with ron english somebody who's been involved with vv for a very long time here's a picture of ron and david Yu. speaking of david Yu, you've probably seen it already so this is the ceo of vv and uh they have some very very interesting utility tied in with this and we'll read it right here bonus utility the winner of this piece will have the opportunity to bring up to three friends to lunch or dinner with david you himself uh geography uh permitting this is your chance to have a collector level 9000 that's a dragon ball z reference uh chat with david during the upcoming con or vv event or if you're in new zealand if you're local and events in new york ron english will also be able to attend if available so that's just some bonus utility nothing in these videos are financial advice i don't know what this piece could do i can just see it right now that people are going to be saying oh this is the first one of one so it's going to be the most valuable or whatever not really sold on that uh personally i think that this is more of like flex money uh fu money uh i think a lot of wells are going to be bidding on this and basically that and again the highest bidder is going to win get that lunch with david Yu. i'm not going to say that this is going to be a flippers piece by any means this is a art piece maybe they could sell it of higher value in the future maybe they can't i have no idea uh ultimately this doesn't affect the average trader um this just affects the wells game i have already had conversations on twitter with people that are wanting to spend maybe up to ten thousand dollars on this piece i could see other people maybe even spending more than that i have no idea 
Um, I will say that it seems like the way the silent auction is structured is that it's going to go to the highest bidder, but you don't know what everybody else bids. That means if you bid 10,000 and somebody else bid the next big bidder was 5,000, then you won it, but it's still kind of like, well, that's a 5,000 deficit. So even though you won, I, I you know, it's, it's a different way of doing things, uh, especially if it's like a substantial difference. But that's the way that it seems like Vivia is going to do these one of one auctions. I do hope that one day we can leverage our MCP points to be able to, as average users, participate in these auctions uh, more fairly. Uh, but, you know, it does make sense. Historically, highest bidder wins in auctions. Just makes sense. Whoever has the most money wins. Uh, it would just be kind of cool to execute that collector's program in the future with these. So by this point in the video, you might be saying, well, Chris, like, what's the negative side of this? I, I don't see why either myself or somebody else is trying to make this a bad thing. Well, this kind of goes back to our gem crisis. And as always, Xavier made a really good point. It was actually under a pretty bullish post that I made on this, just that I, I like the idea of one of one art and I think it's cool for the app. And as I said, there could be some big sales that could make news. Uh, but Xavier says this, I see this as a massive gem burning exercise aimed at emptying out empty gems from existing Wells wallets. What he means by this is, and if you watch my other videos on this, is there's a huge exploit in VB last year where basically gems were made out of thin air, not backed by anything, therefore called empty gems. And VB's goal is to eventually get those gems out of the system, or at least I would assume that's their goal uh, is to not have kind of this empty gem that's not backed out of the system. Implications again are not good for the market. Huge amount of gems liquidity will be removed from the ecosystem with no new gems purchased to balance that loss. So. I'm not going to really say that VB's doing this entirely to get the empty gems out. I, I disagree with Xavier on that respectfully, um, but I don't see this as a good thing for the market as a whole, because at the end of the day, this is this is transferring the Wells money directly to VB essentially, because it's going directly to the primary market. It's not going to the secondary market. So on secondary market, you see almost a transfer of wealth, whether that's a good thing, bad thing, whatever, where gems kind of circulate. They go from one wallet to another, to another, to another. Each one of those having a transaction in, uh, involved with that of a percentage that will forever leave the ecosystem. But on the primary sale, you have the money that is used going directly into VV's business model, which, you know, could be going back and investing in the company. So maybe that in itself could be a good thing as well. But ultimately that is less liquidity to enter the market and more that is just going to be gone on primary sales. So from a market standpoint, I don't see it being significant. I think it's just going to be one of those things that's going to be fun to watch. It'll be fun to participate when it's obtainable, attainable to like the average user. Uh, but ultimately, this is going to be a sideline for a lot of people because this is going to be a Wells game. I do think that's a good point Javier brought up because it is going to be a lot of money leaving the ecosystem and hopefully coming back via VV. Um, but it's empty gems being taken out and it's less liquidity for the entire secondary market. That's all I have for you guys in today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I have been sick for over a week. It's so good to be back. Thank you for being patient. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.